Everybody, welcome on the Glide Slope. Uh, we're going to do a Pilot Edge Cat 5 flight today. This is the fifth of the um, communication airspace training series for VFR flight on Pilot Edge, in which we're going to do a uh, flight from Santa Maria, which is KSMX, to Bakersfield, which is uh, KBFL, also called Meadows. It's not a very long flight. It's about 76 nautical miles. We're in the A2A Cessna 172. And uh, what makes this flight what it is for the CAT rating is we're supposed to pick up flight following after departure. So in the next, the CAT 6, we'll pick it up actually on the ground. But the radio procedure here will be to um, get the weather, which we've actually already done, and then to call ground, tell them where we are, and that we are making a VFR departure to the east. Uh, then they will uh, give us taxi directions, we'll take off. They may give us a heading to fly because this is a class Delta. Uh, either they'll let us go or when we're out of the Delta airspace, we'll then switch over to Santa Barbara approach. You look on the airport information sheet for the airport to see what the radar services are. There's an R with a circle around it that tell you, tells you what the right frequency is. So after we've been handed off, we'll switch over to Santa Barbara approach on 124.15, tell them where we are, what we're doing, and what we want to do. They'll give us a squawk code. Um, we'll be over to uh, that frequency then, and uh, I will, we'll stay on that frequency and go wherever they tell us to go in terms of radio changes. And then as we get within uh, sight of Bakersfield, we'll tell whomever we're with, it may be LA Center by that point, that we have the field in sight. They'll either tell us to keep our squawk or to drop our squawk. Um, we'll be handed off, let go from them. We'll switch over to Bakersfield Tower, tell them that we're coming, and then follow their directions for landing. So that is the procedure. Um, picking up uh, flight following advisory services after departure. So without any further ado, I'm going to um, switch over to Pilot Edge and we'll start talking to controllers. Santa Mary Ground, uh, Skyhawk 15, Julia Golf is at the southeast ramp. We'd like VFR departure to the east, please. This is also for the uh, CAT 5 rating. Skyhawk 15, Julia Golf, Santa Mary Ground for the CAT 5, runway 30, taxi via Alpha. 30 via Alpha for 15, Julia Golf. Thanks. Now, what's your aircraft type? Skyhawk 172. Okay, 3-0 by Alpha, let's go. Okay, we are at 3-0 at Alpha 8, we're ready to go, so we'll uh, let them know. Switched over to tower frequency, which is 121, oh, I'm sorry, tower frequency, which is 118.3, and then our next one's gonna be 124.15, so let's get ready for that. Santa Maria Tower, Skyhawk 15, Julia Golf is holding short 30 at Alpha 8, ready for VFR departure to the east. We have numbers. Romo 5, Julia Golf, Santa Maria Tower, runway 30, clear for takeoff. Uh, right down when departure is approved. 30 cleared for takeoff, uh, clear for takeoff, 15, Julia Golf, 30, right down when departure. Thanks much. Okay. Right, Tower American 211, short 31, left at Alpha, departure. Over to departure for Zuri. So right downwind departure. So we're going to make right hand turns here and then be on our way. Southwest 798, contact departure. Departure, Southwest 798. Bear 130. So got a parts rate of contact. Okay. Four thousand. RPM is good. Engine instruments are good. Airspeed's alive. So that's two mic off turn five degrees right. Rotate. And we can feel that crosswind right away on us. We're going to go up to about 5,500 feet, but we're going to keep our eye open for. Uh, American 211 contact. Departure. Departure, American 211. Clouds along the way. Bear 
Back to Lemon Sub Marsh, get rid of contact, Clementine 1 3000. Okay, he approved us for right downwind, so we can make our right hand turn here. And now we'll just go until he lets us go, or until we're out of the, the, the airspace, and then we'll switch over to the Santa Barbara approach. Okay, we're clear of the Delta airspace. We're free to switch over now to ground, Delta Mike. Los Angeles, or to Santa Barbara approach on 124.15. Tell him where we are and what we're doing. Flighting 070. And then tell him we'd like flight following. So we're about six miles off of six miles east of Santa Maria. Santa Barbara approach, Skyhawk 15, Juliet Golf VFR request. R513 Delta Mike at 736. Clearance is already request, am I? Uh, I believe it was 15 Juliet Golf, uh, standby. Okay, we'll stand by. 798 contact Los Angeles Center 133.55. When he comes back, we'll just tell him where we are and that we want advisories. So for 798 Los Angeles Center, comment 280. That's not fortunate I've ever expect that. Air 513 Delta Mike, uh, cleared to Catalina Airport, Merrick 4 Depart Lake Hughes. Uh, correction, stand by. Merrick 211 contact, Los Angeles Center 1.6. 2-mic off with right heading 2-0-0. Right 2-11 Los Angeles Center, Imperial Altimeter, 3-0-0-0. Uh, 2-mic off, 4 miles from Snake, lighting uh, 1... And sometimes you have to wait a while because they're busy. 3,000 to establish local eyes and clear all this running 2-0 right approach. Three dot up guy clear to Catalina Airport, Merrick for departure, Lake Hughes transition. Victor 459, Seal Beach. Victor 21, Santa Catalina, direct. Uh, Columbia City except maintain 3,000, expect 5,000. One zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 118.8, squawk 3116. Hold your read back for one second. So that's two mic alpha overshoot. Baron Zero Ape contact so called approach one three four four point nine. So that's the fourteen November, you want us from Fabic or uh Kadab? Do you want vectors? You wanna go straight in? What do you want to do?
Those 14 of memory, clear direct Faybag, cross Faybag, at or above uh, 4,000 cleared, hard nav rolling 2-9 our approach. Bear 13084, so approach Los Angeles, altimeter 3006. There's Delta Mike, go ahead with your read back. Now I may, after a minute, remind him, but he is busy. And it's totally cool to remind him if it's been a while. They're, you know, managing a lot of stuff. But flight following is a favor to service, and they don't have to provide it. Mitsubishi 3 Delta Mike, read back, correct? And pretty soon here I'm going to make another VFR request. Uh, somebody else called while he was reading that back. Go ahead and say again. To my call for Raja, contact John Wayne Tower, 12628. Five Jake Golf, Santa Barbara Approach, Squawk uh, 6337, I 6337 with a flash for 15 Julia Golf. 652 Mike Alpha, Downway Tower, Runway 20 right, uh, Clit Land, Wind 110 at 4. Okay, that should work. Our 15 Julia Golf, radar contact, 1 Force uh, Northeast, Santa Maria Airport, the Santa Maria Altimeter 3005. 3005 for 15 Julie Golf, thanks. Okay, th that, was, that was a good example because it um, showed that it can take a while. On departure, and you just have to be patient. So now we'll cruise along. We may get handed off one or two more times, but um, we basically make our way, and he'll tell us if we have any traffic problems, and we'll give us altimeter readouts along the way as we get handed off from position to position. So along we shall fly. After Ventura, as filed. Maintain. I would listen for a second, make sure nobody's talking. Los Angeles Center, Cessna 15, Juliet Golf 5,700. I'm sorry, 4,700. Cessna 15, Juliet Golf, Los Angeles Center, Bakersfield, altimeter 29 or 9 or 9 or. for 15, Juliet Golf. Okay, and when you're going, when you've got advisories and you're going from controller to controller, you don't need to give them a position report, you can just tell them your altitude. And uh, they will confirm that against the altimeter that they've got, which is now 2999 for me. Okay, so that's a handoff. We might get one more before all is said and done. Hey everybody, thanks for uh, watching. Um, apologies for the GoPro running out of juice here. This is the second time that's happened. I was thinking I could make it, but it ran out of batteries faster than I expected, and I really just didn't want to recreate the flight. Um, but the bottom line is from this point in, it's just about handoffs. You get handed off one or two more times, and then eventually you uh, um, are talking to Bakersfield uh, Approach, and then they hand you off to tower, and then give you directions for your pattern entry and for landing. So the key thing again here is just to make sure that you uh, look up the right frequency so that when you are clear of the Delta airspace on departure or just clear of the field if you're departing an, an untowered airport that you can uh, call the appropriate um, control center and ask for radar services and then follow the handoffs along the way. So pretty straightforward. Um, thanks again for watching on the glide slope. The CAT-6 will be next. And if you have questions about the basement sim, you can get uh, most of them answered at www.onthegliadeslope.net. Thanks again for watching.